Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. It defines the temperature of 4 mole of gas occupying 5 dm cube at 3.32 bar pressure where the R value is given. So we can directly use the formula PV is equal to NRT. I have to find the temperature. It will come in Kelvin. Please note in this chemistry uh, in numericals, the uh, the units are very important. So the temperature will be what? PV by NR. So if, if you see the R unit is in bar per dm cube per Kelvin per mole, right? So that means now I'll take pressure in bar. So pressure in bar was how much? 3.32 bar. Volume has to be in dm cube. So volume is what? 5 dm cube. So I'll take 5 dm cube by n number of mole, it will be in the mole, so I will take 4 moles, right, and R is something which is given here, 0 0.083 bar dm cube per kelvin per mole, and you see, bar bar gets cancelled, dm cube dm cube cancel, and there was 4 mole, mole mole gets cancelled, so what I am left with is 50 k, 50 kelvin. The temperature is 50 Kelvin. See, with the value of R only, I could make out what is the unit of uh, uh, pressure I have to take, what is the unit of volume I have to take, temperature and moles. So, everything you can take out, you can understand from the value of R. And using the proper value of R is very critical. And also, the temperature is always in Kelvin. So this is always in Kelvin, this is always in mole. So, this dmq, the volume and the pressure changes. So, based on that, we get different value of R. So, make sure you use the proper value of R. Calculate the total number of electrons present in 1.4 gram of binitrogen gas. See, if to find the number of electrons, first thing you have to find is number of molecules. So, you find the number of molecules, I can multiply with uh, 14 because each molecule has 14 electrons, right? To find the number of molecules, I have to find the moles of gas, right? So number of moles is nothing but mass by molar mass. What is the mass? 1.4 gram. What is the molar mass of nitrogen? 28. So I get 0 0.05 mole. So I have 0 0.05 mole. So number of molecules is very easy to find. Number of molecules is nothing but number of moles into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. This is the number of molecules we get. So once I have number of molecules, I can find number of electrons. Number of electrons is what? 14 into number of molecules. Why? Because each molecule have 14 electrons. This becomes 14 into this value. If you solve, this comes out to be 3.01 to the power 23, right? Electrons, total thing. And if you solve this, you get 4.214 into 10 to the power 24 electrons. I think I made a mistake here. 6 into 0.5 is, uh, it is 10 to the power 22. Right? So it will become 0.3. And this will become 23. Because it's 6 into 0 0.05. So it becomes 22. Yeah, that's fine. The question says how much time it will take to distribute a regular number of wheat grains if 10 to the power 10, this is 10 to the power 10, grains are distributed every second. Very simple math question actually. So one Avogadro number, AB number is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. Molecules you can say. This number and you have 10 to the power 10 uh, per second. This will time it will take. Right? Because Time 
into 10 to the power 10 per second will be this much uh, 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 total number. So you have this many numbers of beats and per second you can take this many numbers you can distribute you will this, you need this, this by this time in seconds and if you want to find in years what you can do is you can multiply or divide this by 60 this becomes minutes this becomes hours 24 hours and 365 this thing will be in years right this is in seconds so if you saw that this is 1.909 to 20 power 6 years. Huge year. A person can't do it in his lifetime. In fact, a person can't count or can't distribute one Avogadro number of uh, items also. Right? Even if he is doing 10 to the power 10 per second in his whole lifetime, it's a huge number. You have to calculate the total pressure of a mixture where you have 8 gram of di oxygen. 4 gram of dihydrogen you can find in a vessel at 27 degrees Celsius. So this is also a very easy question actually. Pressure total will be what? Pressure of oxygen plus pressure of hydrogen. Because I have a vessel, in this I have oxygen and hydrogen. Correct. So in this case my uh, volume is uh, 1 dm cube and temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. So the pressure of oxygen will be what? P is nothing but P is nothing but nRT by V. What is N? N is nothing but my mass by molar mass into RT by V. So here my R is constant, T is constant, V is constant. So I can say that this is nothing but my mass of oxygen by molar mass of oxygen into R T by V plus mass of hydrogen, molar mass of hydrogen into R T by V. You take R T by V common, so this becomes mass of oxygen, ma molar mass of oxygen plus mass of hydrogen, molar mass of hydrogen into R T by V. So mass of oxygen here is 8 grams, molar mass of oxygen we know is 32, mass of dihydrogen is 4, molar mass is 2 into RT by V. So we'll put the value 0 0.083. Why this one? Because this is given and for this my temperature has to be in Kelvin. So to 27 degrees Celsius is nothing but 27 plus 273 Kelvin. That is 300 Kelvin. So this will be in Kelvin by V. V has to be in dm cube and the V is given 1 dm cube. So if you solve this you get 56.025 and the unit will be what? It will be bar. The pressure will be in bar because the R decides which unit to have. Correct? That's it. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.